Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way how you can use Buffer for scheduling your posts on social media. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just click here get started now. First you can choose which plan you want based on how many scheduled posts you're going to have, how many social channels you're going to have and how many users you're going to invite. I will go with a premium account but you can choose which one you want. Start a free trial. Right here I will add my email. And then I'm going to add my password here. Click sign up. Right then, there are going to be three questions that you need to answer. Like how did you first hear about us? I'm going to choose Google search. Which option best describes your business? I can go with a B2B, but you can really choose like SaaS here. Which, which one you are in, how many people work in your company, I will go fewer than five. Again, you choose it. Press continue and voila, here we are. First, your account has been set up. Connect a channel so you can schedule your first posts. I'm going to connect my Facebook account and I'm going to log in here. Okay, I can continue. And now I'm going to choose which one I want to connect. And again, you can edit also settings, but you can actually con continue. And voila, here we got a Facebook. Also, I'm going to connect Twitter. And voila, here we got a Twitter and same with Facebook. Now, how to share something. So on the left top, you can have campaigns and you can simply create a campaign picture of your social media strategy, keep track of multi-channel campaigns and create a healthy mix of content on social media, build entire campaigns, see how they fit together in your schedule, review campaign performance and hit your goals. So let's click create a campaign here. Now I'm going to campaign name. Let's go with YouTube. You could change the color, save campaign. And now, okay, so this is our campaign in which we can like schedule posts for our social media. You can have more campaigns, of course, and I can click here, create a post. Now I can choose if I want it to have on Twitter or Facebook. So I can go and write here, this is my new post. I can simply add an image. Now I can customize for each network also. I can add emoji here and you can see it here. So uh, we got it on Facebook and we got it for Twitter. So you can customize it for every single one of them or you can choose only like if you want to share it on Twitter, you can use buffer for that. Now when I'm going to click on this arrow, you can share now, you can share next or you can schedule the posts. I'm going to schedule the posts here. So let's say 10 of February schedule and right now okay we see the campaign here that these posts are going to get scheduled here and then I would see if I would send any I would send I would saw it here right but what can I do I can simply share now okay your, your post has been shared let's go to Twitter Oh, this is my new post. Whoa, doge, doge, doge. So when you got it, we can see send here, retweets, likes, clicks. I can again create a post for my campaign or I can view report and see analytics. Yeah, I don't have any data right now, but so after that, you would be able to see it. And when you come here and I would click on my honey motivator that's on Facebook, I can see that this is going to be the scheduled post on Facebook. What you can do right there is waiting approval. If it's going to be approved, then you're going to have drafts here that you can create. So let's say this is a draft and I can click also on Twitter that I want to add it. You can again edit both 
and you can share next, schedule drafts, or you can add to drafts. So these are the drafts that I would like to work on. Then settings. And then you got a really great thing here, posting schedule. So here you're posting schedule for Honey Motivator, time zone, you can change that. Now add a new posting time. You can go like every day, uh, weekdays, weekends, choose times, uh, where you want it to be. And this is really great um, to choose from. You need to really know when it's the best way to add some content. I On Facebook, I recommend uh, doing paid ads. I don't rec really recommend like posting things on Facebook that's not really uh, effective and good. If you are in a health product, okay. -ish. If you are in like, I don't know, something valuable that you're sharing, okay. But many times I would focus all the energy of creating ads adding posts on Instagram, Twitter, okay. But Facebook with a really low organic reach, uh, just don't spend so much time on it, personally. If it's going to give you the traffic and value, okay. But if it's not going to give you value and orders, then you need to choose different way. I know that companies are spending a lot of money on uh, organic reach on Facebook for some reason still and they could easily spend the money elsewhere but if it works it works many companies that i work with uh, they stopped posting really on facebook they starting giving all the energy on instagram on pinterest and the quality of their product went elsewhere like the revenue from it so but it depends what kind of product you're actually selling and in what kind of service you are in if you are a dentist it's a good way to share on organic reach because plenty of people are going to research you as a dentist Oh, this is the most important question. If the people are going to actually research your company, because if you are in a dropshipping product, like I don't even know <laughs> why would you post something on Facebook, right? When you want to get the traffic from from ads. So, okay, I was talking too much about business stuff. I, I love those things. So yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can easily edit posting times here. You can also edit time here. You can clear or posting times and you can really have it for Twitter and Facebook completely different, right? And now when I would come here to Quelwe, let's say that I want to change the So Monday, I will go to 8.20 I will go to Quelwe Monday 8.20 and, and it's going to automatically be changed, right? So this is how we can do it Now when I would go to Twitter and I see the analytics, what you can do is share again. So I can come here, share again, and you can share the post, uh, like reschedule the post. And this is really great, only because like, uh, when you're gonna have a really great post that are working, plenty of companies, you know what they're doing, I'm going to show you, this is really great. I'm going to use the paint for it, but you will understand it. So. What you can do is mm, have Instagram stories. What you need to do is this. Create a 40 Instagram stories in a month that you are going to have 20 a month and 20 a month when you're going to have still a lot of people watching your Instagram stories and you want to, like, first month, this is 20x, this is 20a, right? And what do you want to do? 20x is going to be in January. In February, you want to have 20 Instagram stories on 20A. And in January, February, March, you want to go again 20 Instagram story of X. They will be like the same content, recycling it. And that way, you can have saved a lot of time uh, and it's going to be really effective. You, if those are working, you can use them too. But if people are starting to say that, oh, I already saw these Instagram stories, then don't use them. Or you can go 20x, 20a, and 20b, and then just recycle that content. It's, it's a really great strategy that you can use for your business. I really believe in that. So don't hesitate to try this strategy, and it will work flawlessly for you. Trust me in that. So this is what you can do, and this is pretty much it. Then you can go to right top, click account, and change the email address, have a billing here. Then you have like organization here. 
organization name that you can change. In publishing, you can go to left bottom manage channels and you can simply add a new channel. So you can add Facebook page, Facebook group, Instagram business, Twitter, LinkedIn page, LinkedIn profile, or you can add also premium as a Pinterest. And then you can also invite users here to your Buffer account. But this is pretty much it. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you uh, creating like social media and Instagram and also with YouTube and what you can actually do. It's just like amazing. I love the internet. I love the way how you can make money on it. And yeah, if you have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'll be happy to help you. Using Buffer is quite simple. Oh, anyone can do it. It's nothing hard. And I believe that after watching this video, you know exactly what to do. You can also see it by week or month here. So when you're going to not have days here, but week and month. You can start seeing that too. So thank you very much everybody for watching. Have a great day guys and goodbye. See ya.